Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Lincoln Blocks here, back with yet another video on the channel. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I know that I am. And in this video, we will be talking about how you can use the rich text feature in your game. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. But before we do that, be sure to smash that like button since I know you haven't already. And subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. <laughs> So I went ahead and added a GUI in, and what we're going to do is we're going to say this will turn orange, okay, okay, and let's just say we wanted to make this orange part turn orange, okay, so let's bring our notepad on over here, and we will do this will turn orange okay let's make that orange uppercase just to make it look a little bit nicer okay and what we're gonna do is we are going to do this bracket and we are going to do font color is equal to and let's head over to our Google Chrome and let's collect this. Okay, so that's just going to be in a nice orange color, as you can see right there. And let's head back over here and let's go over to our notepad. And let's paste that in. Let's put quotation marks so it knows that this is it and it's not anything else. Okay, and let's add another bracket in. And now we are going to head over to the back of it delete that period and we are going to do slash font okay let's do another bracket and then we can do the period okay so now we can head bring this on over here and we can just paste that in okay what is it doing to me okay let's click this double click and let's just go ahead and paste that in so now it has turned orange i've already enabled the rich text feature so let me show you how it works okay so you have to scroll down to where you edit your text and you need to enable rich text now i've already enabled it so if i don't enable it it just looks like that not very nice and let's just enable it so now it looks nice so let's just drag this back on over here and let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, just like that. And say we wanted to make it a nice Halloween font. So let's head back over to our notepad and keep all this orange stuff. I want to keep it orange as well. And let's just do, um, so we need to do font uh what is it again font we need to do uh font face font face font face okay so we need to do let's head over back over to our notepad and we need to do font face okay and then we need to do actually go back go back and we need to do equals and then we need to do creepster okay which is a nice Halloween font. And let's just do that. And we'll go over here. And we will do slash font. That should be good. We might need to add another font. I'm not completely sure since this is very new. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's paste this in just like that. And okay, so we ne do need to add that extra font. Okay, so let's pe head back over to our notepad and let's do um, font or no slash font. Okay, so now this should work. Let's add a period on the end just to make it look nicer. Copy this, head over here, delete that. Okay. And now we will type in this, just like that. This will turn orange. That looks absolutely amazing. Now, I have never done this, and um, I'm just new to it. 
So that looks absolutely amazing right now. I am not even crying in exaggeration, and when I say that, I usually am. So, <laughs> yeah, just to let you know, that looks absolutely amazing. But say we wanted to turn it bold, okay? Now I'm in a good mood because it worked for me today. Happy me. Okay, so let's make this bold. So all you gotta do is B, and that's literally it. Um, and then on the end, we'll just do slash B, and let's do another bracket, and let's add ourselves a period. So that will make it bold. Uh, you can do the same thing with italic, or whatever it's called. I honestly don't know at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's add this in. Okay, what happened there? Gosh. Okay. Okay, what did I do wrong there? Okay, looks like I did everything right. Um, let's check that again. Okay. Okay, so, um, we can just delete all this, okay? And let's put, this will turn bold. Okay, and let's make this bold. So let's do B, and then that, and then this, and then slash B, and then this, and then period. Okay, so let's go copy this. Come over here, paste it in this. Okay, so this will turn bold. As you can see, it doesn't look all that bold. It's hard to, since this font is already bold by itself. So you need to do source and, and then you will definitely notice it. So it's definitely bold which standing out whatever you want to call it um but yeah so that looks very very nice um but yeah so what else do we have over here um okay oh yeah so we forgot underlining okay so let's head back over to roblox studio and let's go over to our notepad okay all right, and let's, instead of bold, let's do underlined, okay? And let's head over here, let's do this, and let's do you, and then that, and then come over here, and of course, we're gonna do slash you. Okay, it looks amazing. Wow, my voice hurts, I've been talking a lot. Uh, so let's head back over here, and let's, Paste that in. This will turn underlined. So now that is underlined. Works great. Um, so what else do we have? Uh, oh, okay. We forgot strike through. Uh, one that I've actually never used before, but I do know how to use it. So let's do this. Will turn strike through okay and let's go over here let's do this s okay close bracket open bracket let's do s close bracket we need to do ourselves a slash and let's add a period on the end and okay let's copy that head over here delete that paste that in now it has a strike through line, which that, that's what Roblox calls it. I'm not saying that it's officially called a strike through line, but it is what Roblox calls it. Okay. So what did we miss? Did we miss comment? Um, no, we did not. Uh, okay. Um, I think we have gone through everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button like I told you to do at the beginning of the video because I bet you didn't, unless you are a big supporter of me. And if you are, shout out to you. I'll shout you out in the next video. Comment down below and I will actually shoot you out in the next video. But yeah, guys, that is it. Uh, hope you have a good day. Uh, I know I am. And this was, I had a really fun time with you guys. Uh, learning how to use the new rich text feature
I hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.